So when I first started coming here, I remember the, the Driscoll being like a place to like regroup and get away from the noise. And we used to come here and we'd run into people we knew and liked. So all my memories of this place are coming here and sort of getting a second to talk about the craziness of everything that just happened and then catch up about what had just happened. And you know, back in those days, South by Southwest was all about like, oh, you know, this guy from this label or, or this lady from this publishing company came and I talked to her about this. So my bandmates, whatever band I was in, and I would come here and kind of figure out what had just happened. Yeah. I put my finger right here. No. And then I just shave up to my used to have I used to have more of like a kind of fro, like curly all around, right? Yeah, it's what the word you're looking for is June fro. When I was younger I tail. Which I saved, I still have it. Me <laughs> too. It was Star Wars. I seriously still have the tail. I've been coming here for so long. So there's memories like the first time I came in 2003 when I had one show at a sushi place that like nine friends came to, which I thought was the coolest thing because I was like, I'm at South by Southwest. And I remember coming actually here to have uh, lunch before and we were talking about the show and how important it was and all these like funny things like Tommy Lee was at the show, like just like all this like random stuff. Yeah, the manager asked me to bring the Holy shit, compliments it's of the house. <laughs> oh my god, I was literally looking at it's it. Our, like, it's our signature. Thank you so, so much. I think it's actually one of the only places in this area during South by Southwest that doesn't feel like apocalyptic, or rather post-apocalyptic. It sucks. <laughs>